back again, everyone's favorite show, Noob Plebs Trying to Sell Stuff on the Internet! Woo! Yes. Reaction granted. My name is Timmy Joe. I make the videos about these things we call computers up on the internet. Today on the program, yes, everyone's favorite show, we get uh, you guys, the viewer, to send us up on over here some really silly ads, some overpriced junk on the internet, some uh, you know high-end systems that are twice retail, stuff like that, and then I go through them and scrutinize the ever-living crap out of them. It's fun. All right, yes. We have lots of uh, submissions. So as always, I want to thank everyone you know who sends stuff in, uh, even if I don't get to yours or maybe the uh, ad uh, was expired by the time I looked at it. I apologize, but you can always submit your ads to Silly ads at timmyjoe.com. Let's just jump right into it today because there's a lot of cover. A lot of room. Boom! Gaming PC. $3,000. Must have a Titan in it or something. Huh? Must have 1080 Ti's and SLI. <gasps> Let's check. No, definitely not 1070. <laughs> $3,000. Let's look at the pictures. So we got a 600 watt non modular power supply. We got, uh, you know, stock, you know, a cooler for your Intel. Okay, I wonder if that's a, wait, what is it? Oh, I'm going to peek, I'm going to peek. It's a Core i5. <laughs> All right, yeah, so, yeah, uh, but, but, oh, oh, you get your uh, T-Sports, T-E-Sports gaming HyperX headset and mouse pad. That's pretty, oh, wow. You got the bokeh, the bokeh on that one, baby. And, uh, okay, I like your case, but it's clearly acrylic and not tempered glass, so $3,000, not bad. So yeah, we got the Thermaltake Commander G41 ATX case, Asus Z170, uh, what's that, Core i5, so what, uh, Scott, Skylake, probably, two terabyte hard drive, got a Samsung SSD, yeah, 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 oh, and the monitor's included, $3,000 or best offer. I give you $1,000. $1,000, that's all I offered you, sir. Because there's no freaking way with that stock Intel cooler and you on your K processor. Is it even a K processor? Who knows? 2133 memory, though. So, yeah, this is just way too expensive. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff. Well, I, I get 100 of these. Actually, this was sent to me twice. Uh, and I only picked it because it was sent to me twice, and it's $3,000, like... If it was a little bit less, but uh, you just get lots of systems like this where they're asking more than retail. You know, apparently they're master PC builders on the master PC race. Complete setup. Yeah, so let's move on. Boof. Oh, okay. <laughs> 450 gaming PC, RX 580, i5 7600. Really? Oh, i3. Oh, you're doing that thing where you're advertising one price and it's actually you're not including the parts that you know are in the title for that price so we have a 1000 watt power supply that looks like it requires a lot of cooling what is going on with that fan in there <laughs> oh man does this is wait posted as a pc will come a standard hard drive you can opt for a 5 to ssd cases cooler master half okay why is it set up like that where's the side panel also i hate when people do this with their, oh, and it's cocked all sideways. That's weird. With their tower cooler, they basically make it feed. And then he's trying to sell this computer, and there's just dust everywhere. But yeah, what really kills me is that big, like, 200 mil fan that's just blowing in there. Nah, I got no problems with cooling, he says. Anyways, this the, the prices on this aren't, aren't so bad, but what do, you, what do you do, right? It's not a very good computer ad, that's for sure. Clean your computer up, put the side panel on, get rid of that weird big fan, and then maybe we can talk. I give you unorganized bastard. That's right. <laughs> Whew, that's a that's a funny computer. <laughs> what is going on with that guy? Is it, it it is a Windows 10 works perfectly. Just need to install old version of Win XP only. It brings everything you want. No pictures. <laughs> The man from Delaware sells his Windows 10 computer, but you have to put XP back on it. I give you Creepster of the Year Award. I guess it makes you upload a picture. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, moving on. Oh, well, this is a freaking cool computer, man. 
I was sent this as like I think the guy was trying to show me like because the price is expensive or whatever. Uh, this is just a straight up balling computer, and you know, depending on you know if I was a millionaire or not. I might actually take them up on this computer because it's super, super cool. So it's a Digital Storm custom computer with two Titan Zs in it. Oh man, so that's quad SLR. This is a super fucking cool computer and it's worth every penny. So uh, whatever, you know? And it's got like dual bank of fucking, oh man, this is super cool. Now, this the specs on this, like that, that time spy score is not the greatest considering one card could do that these days, but it's still pretty freaking cool. I would totally buy this up if I could. I wanted to see, it's got Intel, I so it's got a freaking uh, Broadwell E processor on it in 64 minutes. This is a sweet, sweet deal. Uh, it's sold, so yeah. I really like this, it's cool. I wish I could have uh, bought it, but you know. I don't have $1,300 to spend on a frivolous thing like that. This is just a cool computer. I give you good job. Great job. Great job. Jorb. 64 gigs. Oh, wow. GTX 650 Ti. It's a funny looking 650 Ti. And the box is a funny looking way to write 650 Ti on it. Uh, yeah, this GTX 650 Ti, one gigabyte DDR5, 128 bit HDMI graphics card with 5000 for NVIDIA GeForce. Um, okay, is that the real graphics card? Because I'll, yeah, let's do it. It's a 1060. It's a pallet, or, yeah, this is one of those graphics cards you get from AliExpress, I think. iGame. Like, if maybe this guy just doesn't know what he's got, because I don't think that's a fake graphics card. These are. Like sold in China, like like huge, and you can get them on AliExpress. Like it looks like it's got six gigs of, yeah. The, what, the pictures do not match the listing, but I just thought that was funny. It says it's a six. Like, did you get screwed over or something? Like I, I'm pretty sure that's a real graphics card. So whatever. And even if a 650 Ti is never worth two hundred and fifty dollars, my friend. So I give you confusion attack from the Pokemon, whichever Pokemon does that. The Lorax. Don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, moving on. Boop. Ooh, gaming PC, $3,500. Oh, this is a picture, so I can't. The, the listing had gone. So we got a Ryzen 7 1700, an H100 Pro, an X370 gaming uh, K5 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, this computer is worth $1,000. It's worth $1,000, dude. Where did you get $3,500? Now, I understand that, you know, you, you have maybe $2,000 or $1,500 in this computer, whatever you got into it. But 35 is that little monster? What does the monster do? Oh, I lost him. The monster, is that Lilo and Stitch? It's Lilo and Stitch with hair. Oh. This is just a bad one all around. I give you silly, silly, silly sin. <laughs> now, this is a awesome desktop computer. Who built this? ModSec? If you know who I'm talking about, I'm not really trying to make fun of him. He makes some cool content. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I, cut, I cut a computer out. I've, I took a part of small form factor Dell or HP or whatever it is. And um, maybe you want the pieces that were left over. That's a sweet heat sink you got there <laughs> with no fans running through it or anything. Oh man, is that an ID hard drive? Well, at least it's 40 bucks. Cameron Romberger hasn't added a description to their custom PC listing. Well, I'll, give, I'll write you a perfect description. This small form factor computer is a beautiful example of what you can do when you don't even have a shoebox for a case. The end. Perfect. This is a hilarious episode. I would buy that just to see what's up with it. It's a weird computer, man. Oh, i7 3.33 megahertz with 18 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1050. 1,500 of your hard-earned dollars. 1,500. What in the heck? Let's check out the pictures. Okay. This comes with a lamp and what appears to be lots of dust in the side, but we could be wrong. And Oh, it's got a Windows Experience Index of nearly perfect 6.9. Pretty sure 7 was the max, or maybe it went up to like 8 at some point. But 18 gigs of RAM, that's a weird... Like, did you get a 
16 and then add two gigs on the other bank? I don't, our Bordos PC. Yeah. Well, at least Windows was activated. <laughs> and then it's got a 1050 T, 10, just a 1050, oh, 1050 Ti. Okay. Thanks for showing me the, you know, display properties components of this one. Uh, yeah. Well, at least you got a card reader and a USB in the front. I like that case kind of, but uh, gamers computer with solid hard drive and much more. Well, as long as it's got a solid hard drive, you got a solid computer, brah. $1,500, dude. It, I, I bet this is a first gen Core i7, and that's why with the X58 motherboard. And it looks like you built it yourself. Next time, show some, you know, some thought and do some research on what your stuff's worth. Maybe you'll sell it next time, huh? Jerk face? Anyways, moving on. I give him jerk face. Boom! Oh! Here we go. What's this? Built gaming PC, high end parts, reduced price. Oh, there you go. It's a brand of Asus. Like the title says, it's high end, no doubt. It is the Series 200 Maximus Hero. Well, you know, motherboard makes all the difference, right? So we got, uh, you know, Evo on there. And what is that graphics card? That's a weird, I guess we'll have to read a little bit. And you got a cool Republic of Gamers sticker on the bottom. And yeah, uh, oh, we'll better show the motherboard box. Yeah, what? Is that even the same computer in the background there? Did you? Oh, wow. That is a case of it. That's a case of ever seen one, man. And you got moose knuckle carpet. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, it changes colors. I like that case. It's kind of rad. Even though it looks like it might be pretty, pretty cheap. So what's with that graphics card? Let's read down. So how much was third? $2,300. Like the title says. It's got 8 times 2, 16 gigs of rip jaw, 2,800 megahertz. Do they even sell 28 megahertz, 100 megahertz memory? No, they don't. Uh, i5 6600K, okay. And I uh, had it overclocked 4.5 stable. I can overclock it again unless it's a uh, uh, GPU. I'll throw in extra OC if you want it. Well, from an expert like you, yes, please. Come and do my overclock. <laughs> Google Master Evo, optional. Optional GeForce 1080 Strix. I'm using the funds to build towards the 1080 Ti, so it would be nice if I bought this together. Very well maintained. So, oh, it's 1700 with the no 1080. You're dreaming, buddy. You're dreaming, buddy. Buddy. Bud. Don't call me a rat, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. It's, I don't know, maybe like an $800 computer. No, it's not. Without the GPU, it, you can't sell, you can't expect to get top dollar for stuff, even when your case is this cool. I mean, I know it's a really cool case. Uh, I think that's probably, anyways. Uh, so, uh, th it's worth like 600 bucks with no graphics card at the very most, and no one's going to buy it at that price. And then with the 1080, it's worth 900 bucks. It's worth a thousand dollars. Maybe, maybe you could ask 12 and look to get just above a thousand, but you, you bug me, sir. Well, there's a 500 gig, uh, you know, SSD in it. That's nice. Oh, and a good old EVGA 500 watt power supply. Yeah, or it's good to cheap out on your power supply. Moving on. $869. PC tower case cooler master half. Ooh, that's a pretty old half. And a Phenom 2 X4 965 Black Edition. Vi... Vitality Dippin hasn't added a description to the thing. All right, let's look. Oh, okay. Got an Apple sticker on there, brah. It's going to go to Genius Bar. Get her done. What, what else is there in there? Oh, okay. Just no description of what the graphics cards. It looks like it has SLI. Oh, no, it doesn't. It has one old graphics card. So this computer's worth what? 200 bucks, if that? It's, not, it's well worth anything, you jerk. And then give no description. You're going to sell your listing quick. Don't worry, let go. Vitality dipped in. <laughs> $400 for this Dell. Ooh. $400, the price is negotiable. All specs are in the photo. So this one is a Razer Dell. They did a collaboration to make a really wicked i5 gaming PC. And uh, let's see here. Anything from Arma to the forest and back again. 
graphic and ping intense games. <laughs> I also have a gaming mouse. I bet it's a Razer gaming mouse. And I uh, also include the monitor for 10 bucks. If you're interested, message me on Messenger. So this would be a great computer to get for like 200 bucks and then throw a 1050 Ti in there and game like crazy, it'd be good. But yeah, I didn't know Razer made a Dell computer. I love the position of those stickers you put on there. That, that's a good one. Oh, look at it. It got inside. Green motherboard. That's a good one. And it's really dirty. Oh, I need this right here. The Almighty. The Almighty Street. Does it say? It's a Core 5. 4440. Yeah. Be a good little PC to throw a bunch of graphics card in and away you go. But for $400, seems like you would take less money. I got gotcha. you. Ooh, this one's good. Opteron. O Custom computer AMD Opteron. AMD 64 Opteron PC. Ooh, let's look. Can we look at the pictures? It looks like an old hubcap. <laughs> oh, man. Opteron. That is hilarious. Um, what do those little dials do? Turn up the nipples? Stop staring at my... Do you see my shirt? I don't have a shirt on today. It matches my flannel. Uh, it's still got a floppy drive, so you know it's good. And it's got all that... It's busy, been busy being a hubcap, so, you know, you, you forgive me if it's a little dirty. And it's got a little bit of, oh, I like this blue cable right here. It's a good blue cable. <laughs> Does it even have has one stick of RAM in it? <laughs> oh, man, it's got one of those uh, Thermaltake blower things that you stick in a PCI slot. And it looks like it's got, like, cat vomit in it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and an ATI all in wonder, dog. And look at that chipset fan. And MSI, that's awesome. I would actually buy this computer if I if I could get it for real cheap. That's a sweet power supply. I haven't seen Thermal Takes logo like that in a long time. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> now, last week's theme was spaghetti, or last episode. I can't even call that spaghetti. It looks like someone electrocuted like the inside of a computer, and all the wires just exploded or something that is a sweet pc how much did he want for this 285 dollars i would buy this for sure if i could get it for like 80 bucks oh no it has no hard drive <laughs> god damn it man uh it's good for maybe good for crypto my has no side cover either <laughs> i give you best one of the day so far Moving on. Full custom water-cooled gaming computer, $4,000. Milford, Connecticut, or Des Moines. I don't know. I don't know my American states. So uh, off the hop, we see this is a pretty good system. I don't know about $4,000, but we have Quad SLI, and we so there's at least an X79 motherboard. So uh, I'm parting with my custom water-cooled super gaming computer reason. I just don't have the time for it anymore. Dominate Fortnite. Oh, $3,800 or best. Roughly value of $10,000. So what's the specs on this thing? Rampage Black Edition. Okay. And i7-4760X. So that would be a pretty cool motherboard. 8 times 4 gigabyte Hyper X Savage 2400. Okay. It's pretty good specs, actually. This computer would have been 10000 Well, would have been a lot of money. Because as we see, it has 4 times uh, uh, the GTX 980 Super Clock in S Quad SLI. It's got some SSDs, uh, 1200 watt power supply. You would need that for sure. So, um, this game performance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so this is not a relevant computer for the average person. I mean, I, I would maybe sell this for $1,500 if uh, somehow ran across it or part it out. I know, you, well, you have water blocks on the things, so probably don't have, uh, it's not going to be easy to sell a bunch of 980s with uh, water blocks on them, but eBay's a thing. That's a pretty cool computer. It's got some nice fluid in it, uh, but yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that case. Not a very modern case, are you? But you did spend all your money on 980 Ti's, so yeah, I just give you way too damn expensive, but uh, you know, I respect your build. It's pretty cool, especially with the water cooling setup on it. That's like Jay's two cents kind of viewer or something from two, three years ago. Guy was hardcore into it. Boom! Oh, here we go. NZXT Gaming PC 350. It's a uh, two terabyte hard drive, uh, GT uh, 740, four gigabyte graphics card. Is that a thing? 
I don't think so. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM, AMD A10 7870. Total virtual memory, 63 gigabytes. Yeah, do it up. Is that the only picture you got? I like your carpet. Um, yeah, with a yeah. So this isn't so bad, I guess. It's like an old AMD. Like the case looks like, I don't know, the Terminator or something. It's pretty cool looking. But it's not worth three hundred fifty dollars with oh, thirty-two gigs of RAM. Maybe it is. Why thirty-two gigs of RAM? Why sixty-three gigabytes of total virtual memory? That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I move on. I digress. Twenty-eight hundred dollars. It's a very expensive episode, apparently. New custom built machine, gigabyte, uh, baby three fifty game motherboard, sixteen gigs of Vulcan T Force memory. Let's see, can we see what else is in it? Um, the case is kind of bland. Um, no graphics card. What's, no graphics card. What's the processor in it? No, it's fully loaded. It's not fully loaded. There's no graphics card in it. And it has, if it has that heatsink on it, then it has a fucking uh, AP, like one of the bulldozer APUs on it. So, man, either that or it's like the newest uh, Ryzen Athlon or whatever, Zen, the A2200 or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, yeah, this is just, you're an asshole. You can't sell this computer for any more than 500 bucks. Oh, there's no graphics card in it. You're killing me with these people, man. Ah, oh, okay, it's got the A129800E Pro. <laughs> So yes, it has a Bristol Ridge APU in it, and it's worth fuck all. I give you fuck all. Moving on. End of the episode already. How these things happen. You can send me some beautiful ads, some silly, silly ads to me. No, don't send them to me at timmyjoe.com. Send them to silly ads at timmyjoe.com. If you send them to me at timmyjoe.com, I don't go there. To look, I, I usually ignore those because I have way too much email in that me at Timmy Joe email to, to be looking at silly ads through there. I'm sorry. So make sure you send them to the right email. But uh, today's video was sponsored by the uh, I watch videos on the internet about TJ Timmy Joe computers shirt. It's a good one. And uh, yeah, moving on. We're just having a grand old time making fun of funny old silly ads on the internet and i want to thank everyone who sent in their submissions and thank all of the silly people out there who think they can sell uh you know computers for four thousand dollars when all they have is a bristol ridge apu apu in them apu more like it i'll see you guys in another episode thanks very much for watching have a good day he makes videos about computers on the internet I'll sell you this 650 Ti for $700. Ha ha ha!